one of the most feared and reviled bioforms of the entire Tyranid race, the Gene Stealer is quite possibly the definitive infiltration and shock assault organism. Gene Stealers lay the foundation for the eventual arrival of the High Fleets by making their way onto new worlds and weakening the planet's ability to defend itself. To do this, the first Gene Stealer to make planetfall will seek out the dominant organisms of the world, such as humans, orcs, or tau, before subduing them with a hypnotic gaze. The Gene Stealer will then utilise the ovipositor organ within their tongue to implant a seed of their genetic material into their victim. Once infected, this organism becomes enslaved to the will of the Gene Stealer, and will either become driven by the urge to mate in order to infect others of their species so that they may produce hybrid offspring, or will even birth such abominations themselves. Over time, the number of hybrids will increase, and the taint will begin to spread throughout the host species society through the form of a gene stealer cult. This cult is utterly devoted to the gene stealer that sired it, which will become known as a gene stealer patriarch, thanks to a psychic link shared between the patriarch and members of the cult known as the Broodmind. As each generation of hybrids breeds, it produces gene stealer organisms that appear closer and closer in appearance to the host species, to the point where fourth generation hybrids appear almost indistinguishable from the host organism, save for baldness and a heavy bone structure. But when fourth generation hybrids breed, they will produce pure strain gene stealers, who are just as grotesque and alien as the one that initially gave rise to the cult. The cult will then continue to grow in size, influence and power until they launch an all-out rebellion against the world's government in an attempt to take over the world. As the Gene Stealer cult launches its attack, they will subconsciously emit a psychic beacon that attracts the High Fleets towards a world that is rich in biological material for them to consume. And by the time the High Fleet arrives, the world's military forces will typically be unable to prevent the greater whole of the High Fleets from consuming all life upon the planet. While pure strain gene stealers can be birthed from fourth generation hybrids, they, like all bioforms of the High Fleets, can be spawned from birthing vats within the bowels of the Hive ships and can be launched towards worlds in drop pod like mycetic spores to slaughter any resistance they encounter. While the Patriarch is described as being the gene stealer which initiates the Tyranid infiltration process, this role has also been attributed to another organism called a Broodlord. Like the Patriarch, the Broodlord is the first of its brood often being the first gene stealer to make planetfall. Similar to the Patriarch, which shares a collective psychic link with its offspring, the Broodlord is what is known as a Synapse Creature. Synapse Creatures are organisms within Tyranid swarms that act as a type of psychic amplifier, projecting the dominating will of the hive mind into lesser organisms around them, in order to control them. While the larger Synapse creatures, such as Hive Tyrants, will often act in a role akin to a general, other Synapse creatures, such as Tyranid Warriors, will often act as supporting officers to help relay the orders transmitted by the Hive Mind. Gene Stealer Broodlords have also been shown leading lesser Tyranid organisms upon the battlefield. This in particular was most notably demonstrated by the Broodlord known as the Spawn of Cryptus, which led the hordes of High Fleet Leviathan upon the world of Thodia. In addition, Broodlords are also seen as the dominant alpha organism amongst gene stealers found upon Space Hulks, and will direct the rest of the brood towards exterminating any potential threats, such as Space Marine Terminators, which are frequently utilised 
to purge such craft of these creatures. Such organisms can become absolutely massive in size, even reaching twice the height of an Astartes clad in tactical dreadnought armour. Given the similarities between the Patriarch and the Broodlord, are they simply the same creature with differing names, or are they in fact separately distinct variations within the Gene Stealer Bioform strain? It's certainly possible that these two creatures are separate subspecies, which are engineered for specific situations. Even within pure strains, there are notable variations, such as the Imgal subspecies. The Imgal gene stealers were in fact the very first strain of gene stealer discovered by the Imperium, named after the moon of Imgal upon which they were found. Unlike most other forms of gene stealer, which feature a powerful fang lined maw within their bulbous skulls, the Imgal strain has a series of feeder tentacles in the place of jaws. In addition, the Imgal strain features a heightened metabolism as a result of its limited chameleonic shapeshifting ability, which is similar to that found within another Tyranid infiltration organism, the Lictor. Given the fact that deviations from the standard genetic template exist within gene stealers, this means that there is always a possibility that the Broodlord and Patriarch are engineered for specific roles. The Broodlord in this case could be designed purely for a combative function, using its abilities to either butcher primitive locals and wildlife, or to, in effect, wage a guerrilla war to pave the way for the Hive Fleet by simply slaughtering any potential resistance. The Patriarch in this instance would be an organism designed more for espionage, infecting the local population and building up a power base to destabilise the planetary government through a network of hybrids and brood brothers to, in effect, conquer the planet through that particular method. The idea of the Broodlord and Patriarch being separate strains is supported by the audio drama Mission Purge. When a Death Watch kill team led by Captain Artemis encounters a Gene Stealer Patriarch upon a cargo vessel infested with the creatures, the following is noted by the story's narrator. It was a pure strain Gene Stealer, bigger than any the Space Marine had seen before, though not so large as the horrific Broodlords he had faced in the Tyranid Hive Fleets. The Patriarch of the Brood. Genitor of the massive aliens stowed in the hold. While these organisms are separate bioforms, instead of being bred for separate specialisations, it's quite possible that the Broodlord is in actuality the advanced evolutionary stage of the Patriarch. This could suggest that once the Hive Fleets arrive in orbit of a world infested with a gene stealer cult, Patriarchs will receive some kind of stimuli, either some type of biological signal such as pheromones, or even something akin to a psychic trigger, which then initiates their development into a broodlord. This evolution could in turn also expand the power of the telepathic link the Patriarch shares with the cult, transforming it into a fully-fledged synapse organism. This as a result allows the newly evolved Broodlord to expand its influence, allowing it to control and direct lesser Tyranid organisms as the High Fleets move to slaughter the world's remaining defenders, before devouring all biological matter upon the planet, picking the metaphorical bones of the world clean. Regardless if they are the same organism or not, both the Broodlord and the Patriarch are still some of the most insidious, as well as some of the most dangerous creatures within the entire galaxy. What do you think? Leave a comment below, and thanks for watching.